to convert an equation from slope-intercept form to standard form, remember that we want to get it to look like standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. So that means that we want to have both the terms that have an x and a y to be on the left-hand side of the equal sign and the constant to be on the right-hand side. So if we look at example 1, we have y equals negative 2x plus 7. What we need to do to convert this into standard form is we need to move this negative 2x to the other side of the equal sign. And we're going to do that by doing inverse operations. So since it was a negative 2x, we want to add 2x to both sides. Now since we actually can't combine these two together, we're just going to write it as 2x plus y and then equals 7. So as you can see, your a value would be 2, your b value would be 1, and your c value would be 7. So this would be your equation in standard form. Now for number two, we're going to use very similar steps. Since we need to shift the one-third x to the left side, we're going to do inverse operations. Since it's positive, we're going to subtract one-third x from both sides. And what we're going to have then is negative one-third x plus y equals negative four. Remember to carry down that negative or that subtraction. Now for this problem we're actually going to have an additional step because we want to clear that fraction for that leading coefficient out in front. We never want to start off an equation in standard form with a fraction. So to clear that fraction we're going to multiply by the denominator. So this is going to give us a negative 1x or negative x plus 3y equals negative 12. And this would be our equation in standard form. So that's how you convert from slope-intercept to standard form.